gin, enough gin disagrees with me because it makes but that me, is your drink as well. It as makes I, like, I like, I like, I have the worst teary hangovers. <laughs> I've told this story on a past pod, but I cried while watching a Macmillan's advert. I, and I was adverts, so hungover. Adverts are the ones that get you in your hangover. They, I was like, they were like, call this number and make a donation. <laughs> <laughs> a rang and as she was she was like how much I was like I need to make a want to set up a direct debit to Macmillan she was like it's so generous it was five pounds alright I was like I can afford more <laughs> and then she was like ten I was like if I'm honest it could be twenty and I was weeping so gin makes me too sad really to go crazy drunk on it have you seen a CBB uh, show called Bluey I thought because you've got kids. I, I, I bought yes, some mate. Gifts this year. Yes. Years, I know it's for not Australian, isn't it's it? A, it's the most amazing kids like cartoon, oh, but it's, it's made like for, for the adults as well. There's a like, Chilean bandit, the mum and dad are yeah. such great characters. But there's some, there's some episodes that are so sort of, they've got a sad bit that I, a few times this month where I've had a little bit of a hangover. I've watched it with my daughter and she's there 18 months of smiling because it's a little dog. And then it gets to the end and I, I do one of them sort of, you know, them sort of cry noises where you're trying <laughs> to hold it in. And yeah, you just do a sort of... <laughs> and like she just looks at me like, what's that? I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah. And it's just, it, it gets you, it catches you in a moment. Yeah, it's like all oh. Disney films. If you, you can watch them on two levels. Like yeah, yeah. you can watch Up with a child and they're like, oh, it's oh. about balloons and a yeah. granddad in a house that flies yeah. and, and there's dumb. also that montage where they loses can't have kids and he loses his wife oh, oh. I watched it on without my own. a word being spoken you're like in a fucking theatre crying well, I watched it in a cinema on my own in Bristol and I was just I had hours to kill and it was on and it was all families. I'm talking, it was like an afternoon <laughs> on a Sunday or something. So it's just loads of families and their kids. And I was sitting, just a grown man on his own, just crying at the <laughs> loss of the relate, like his wife. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. Um, yeah, Home Alone. So, sorry, yeah. So, Home Alone. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. What was the other? <laughs> El- about that. Elf, get, Elf gets some shit. But it's such a fun it's watch. It's, oh, it's, such it's, a one, fun of, it's watch. one of the best. I think it, yeah. I would prefer to watch that than Home Alone. I think it's a better, funnier Home film. Alone. What about Home Alone Three though? Um, the one that no not, one gives a shit about. Is that the one <laughs> he's <laughs> not in? Is he not in it? No, he's not. Tolkien's not in it. Kid with a little bowl head. Much better actor. <laughs> Home Sweet Home Alone is the new one that came out like last year with Ashlyn B in it. And it's, no, that's this year, isn't it? Is it this year? Or do you think it's, just is it, oh, is it only yeah. just come out? Is it a remake or is it like a? Does it follow on in the in the? Oh, canon or whatever they no, say? it's not a remake. It's a right. yeah. Um, it but it's acting as if it's not too Home Alone one doesn't exist. Right. No, it doesn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. Buzz from Home Alone is the grown-up policeman in no. Home Sweet Home Alone. Yeah, it's all linked. Oh, so wow. your girl, I love. That's my favorite fact about Home Alone. Is that is it Chris Columbus, the director yeah, who did yeah. the first Harry Potter? He did so much for his life. Buzz, he did, he did, <laughs> he did. He did. did you, he, think that is? you know, <laughs> he discovered the Americas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then he did Home Alone, and then he did Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> the, you know when uh, Kevin McAllister's going through the room and he gets Buzz's girlfriend. Yeah. And, the, and he goes, that famous, I love that line, Buzz, your girlfriend, woof. <laughs> they were like, oh, we can't have an actual picture of a girl. So I think they basically got Christopher Columbus's uh, son to, to dress as a girl. So that picture of the ugly girlfriend is like the Chris, the director's son dressed as a girl. I like it. Home Alone shit. Uh, right. It's not shit though, is it? Only because I, I didn't watch it's it when not, I was little yeah. and I watched it as an adult and I'm like, this is garbage. I haven't got the nostalgia that you have. Right. But yeah. I, I even think objectively, I think you're being a little harsh because I don't think it is garbage. I just... I, I know I, I'm... The, I'm, I'm... I don't like slack. I think I Home mean... Alone's good, but Home Alone 3 is just... It's better. <laughs> and, and I know we've done it five times on the podcast now, and I know it's not the most popular opinion in the world. It's not my fault, other people... What's the film? Um, What's your go-to film to get you in the Christmas mood? Mine's Muppet Christmas Carol. Jam- that absolutely gets me there. Mine's a bit of a wet one, but it's, it's a wonderful life. Still, like, I've I know, still never watched it. it. Well, I'd never watched it until about five years ago. I went to see it in the cinema like, on, on, your, on, on like your Christmas own. Eve. <laughs> Loads of families. Are you all right? <laughs> um, but it, and I, 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 it was one of them films, you know, like some old films hold up and some old films you end up watching me like, that is dog shit. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it's just, it's just yeah. nostalgia, but it is so good and it is a real tear jerk. Have you watched It's a Wonderful Life? No. My man's Harry Potter one. I know that's not really one, but. 
That's no, it's mine. exactly what my brother-in-law said the other day. I was like, let's is put it, on a Christmassy film. He's like, can we put Harry Potter on? It is. A, is Harry it Potter is like Christmassy is to me. Is it Christmassy? No, but it's not, but it's got a Christmas feel to it. It's always on at Christmas. Yeah. Right, okay. It's like ITV arranged a deal with Warner yeah, Brothers yeah. and we're like, we will only play this in December. And there's Christmas yes. scenes in it. ITV, yeah. two, it's like ITV two, like had a period where American Pie and the Born Identity or, back the to back every night, night. nine o'clock to eleven o'clock, Tuesday to Thursday was the Born Identity window, <laughs> and it was just it was like you'd get home, you just watch, and you'd watch it in bits, you'd watch it all out of like a Quentin Tarantino version, oh. of it, just all jumping around the just, Tarantino cut, the Born trilogy. Over the course of three days, you'd get the film, but and the forty year old virgin as well. Yeah, you fucking love that one. Um, mm. they, and another period about it was about ten years ago. They had a period where it was Van Helsing was on three times a week, and it was just it's such a crap film. Have you seen it? Yeah, You've yeah. Seen, oh, f- it is it's a vampire crap. Film. Yeah, I uh, I used to do a bit on stage, which was true about some about me dad having like no brain to mouth filter. That's how I packaged it as a stand up routine. But my dad just will comment on whatever we're watching, yeah. right? I don't know that I've told you this. We're watching the Born Identity. This is years ago, right? And if you don't know the plot of it, anyone watching. He's a spy found at sea, isn't he? With yes. like bullet holes in his back. And he's being shot and he's got amnesia. He's lost his memory. He doesn't know that he's a spy. He doesn't know who he is. And the film is him trying to find out what his life was and why he was dumped at sea and what, what's gone on. And he's like a super weapon, hasn't he? Been trained to be the best. Yeah, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, is yeah. revealed as the film goes on. And he finds like a locker quite early on in the film that belongs to him. It's got like loads of different currency of like thousands of pounds and different passports with his face on. <laughs> We're about half an hour into this, and I'm watching it with my dad, <laughs> and he goes, fucking unrealistic shite this. And I was like, it is yet, dad, because he can't even remember his own name, and he's just beat the sick, like the shit, out of six MI6 level spies on his own. And he's like, no, 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 it's not that, it's just, uh, it's been like six different days now. And he's always got fresh clothes on. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? He went, well, he's found at sea, he's got no luggage. How's, how's he getting changed every day? And I went, well, he, he found all that money, didn't he? So he's probably just gone to the shop and just bought <laughs> yeah, some they, clothes. They probably didn't leave the scene where he went to Zara. <laughs> he, went, he went, why haven't they shown that bit? <laughs> <laughs> it's an action film, that, isn't it? The Mick Rowe cut of the Bourne trilogy is long. It's about three and a half weeks. I think he's not even slept. I mean, if they're not going to show him sleeping... <laughs> How do we know he's not out of shit? If they've not shown him out of shit. Jason Bourne, I give him this. He's fucking regular. Amazing. <laughs> Have you ever heard uh, Tim Vine's got a really funny joke? Uh, he's, got, like, he's got a billion funny jokes, yeah. hasn't he? But he's got one that he does when he's in Melbourne, where he sort of goes, it's great to be in Melbourne. He goes, uh, you know, I always people always wonder, is it pronounced Melbourne or Melbourne? People from overseas don't know how to pronounce it. He goes, T- I always remember it just by thinking of my favourite film, The Bun Identity. <laughs> 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 I love him. 